hello guys and welcome back to my channel i know i know it's been a while you know trust me this is about to blow your mind um let us not skip all the protocol we know the first protocol is to welcome our first time viewers you're welcome i hope you get to enjoy my channel watch other videos like subscribe and comment you know so back to the basis we're going to Bene, so i'm going to be doing a travel vlog i know that's what you guys enjoy the most so it's a very awesome travel vlog i'm going to Bene republic some very nice place called casa de papa so stay tuned to my channel i promise you you're not going to regret it so guys i decided that for me to get more adventure it would be best if i enter a boat it's actually called the banana boat and i went to cms where they've got the maritime academy to board my boat straight to badagri then from there i also bought another one to port novo and here i am I just realized that I will have to break my journey by heading to a first station Liverpool before I head out to Badagri and that's fine by me if it will make me travel faster. I really don't mind at this point. Why not? Heading to Liverpool now on my banana boat. This is actually called a banana boat. Uh, it's a funny crazy experience but of course that is the essence of this vlog. To let you guys know what life is like you know using the waterways in lagos in the not luxurious one of course as you can see you know this is the first time in my life i'm going to be actually entering machine boats mm -hmm. i think last time i entered the camo they were actually paddling it so it's not the one that uses the uh the engine to run so it's the first time experience for me um, I've got my life jacket, so I'm not really afraid. I'm not afraid of water. Anymore. It's 15 minutes ride, actually. 15 minutes ride from here to Liverpool. The Liverpool continue to Badagri. Guys, I just got to Port Novo now. I couldn't make a vlog of the port because of the border security around the area. I didn't want to draw unnecessary attention to myself. So I got a bike. I got on a bike now and I'm on my way to Cotonou. From Cotonou, I'll be heading straight to Wida. The boat ride actually took three hours and this is because there were a lot of stop by the waterway for security agents like the customs. However, um, I'm using the map now to head to Wida navigate through to know where I am at this particular point in time so that I can know my location and also measure the time it will take me which is approximately around 1 hour 40 minutes to read up.
one eternity later. So guys, we just arrived um Casa de Papa. It's a very beautiful place. I thought to make a quick video of the entrance. Uh, very nice. I can't wait to enter. I'm just trying to sort out my transport here so I can enter. I really have no doubt I'm going to enjoy here. From what I can see, it was a good decision to come. My goal is just to check in now. I'm at the reception trying to sign some documents, you know, the normal process hand over your passport to be scanned, you know, get my room number, and that's just about it. Later that same evening, I pick in my bath and I have pizza for dinner. You know, it was a nice make. I liked the way it looked, and of course, the way it tasted because that's the one that is most important. Just try to dig in, you know, so that I can relax. It was a long journey, about five hours. So but I had this for dinner and um, just going to sleep now after this. <laughs> See you next morning. Hi, guys. It's a wonderful morning here in Casa de Papa and I'm very happy to be waking up to no stress because I tell you yesterday was no fun um, I guess it was fun at the beginning knowing that I'm going to be entering a canoe type of boat speed boat to get to my destination which is Bene I took the boat from CMS actually CMS then um, we went to Liverpool we bought another boat then from Liverpool went to Badagri then Badagri we went to Port Novo then Port Novo I took a bike this whole experience, I'm still going to be like sitting on what it entailed down when you watch more of the vlog, you know. So basically, the journey from the journey from CMS to Badagri was supposed to take 45 minutes, but unfortunately, there were some hacks, some issues. The boat broke down midway. We had to call for an emergency change of boat. Someone came to come and change us, and from there, it took us I think about an hour plus. And we shall go to Liverpool first um, then from liverpool we changed to another boat that took us to um badagri the journey wasn't funny there were too many speed bumps along the way all oh, my ass is hurting i swear but i think it's worth it because i wanted to bring an adventure to this vlog to let you see what life is like when people take some type of trips it was a fun experience something that i will live to forever remember you know of course the vlog is going to be there to so remind me then we got to Badagri, we got another boat that uh, the water was dirty from Badagri. I, it was brown water splashing on my face. I had to close my mouth because then. Uh, anyways, from there we got to Port Novo. We, from Badagri, I boarded to Port Novo. Then um, Port Novo was when the whole thing changed because now you're conversing with people that speak basically in French. And me, I have no knowledge of French. It wasn't funny. I didn't know how to liaise with them. And thankfully, um, I had a help. You know, it helped. I was able to speak for me. I got to Port Novo. We bought. We came down. You know, there were so many checkpoints along the road. They had to stop and check because looking for people, the army and the customs looking for people that are probably trying to smuggle contraband. They look at your faces if you're a thief and you're the you're on the wanted list. You know, this kind of thing. That's how. That's why I, I can really say I enjoyed it. I didn't know about all these things and it was a worthwhile experience. So from um, Port Novo, arriving Port Novo now, I got a bike. A bike that took me all the way to Cotonou. I could have taken a bus, but I was already late and I wanted to get here on time. I was thinking that, okay, so bargaining with the bike, everything they were calling here were really expensive, I tell you, because um, the bike, everything is from like a thousand plus sefa. So the bike I took was over three thousand something sefa to take me, taking me to Cotonou. I got to Cotonou, then from Cotonou, we took a bus that brought me to Wida. Then with that, then with that, I had to take another bike because they said the buses were not willing to go this area. From Wida to Casa was a long journey. The roads weren't good and they had a lot of Egungu festival type of scenery around the area where people were just carrying masquerade up and down and they were creating a scare. There were so many tensions, you know. But I'm thankful anyway. The day I got to my destination, I was so happy because from the gate alone, it was all I knew I bargained for. It was all I bargained for. And I'm going to be showing you a vlog around my room. I'm sitting in my room this morning. I'm going to show you a vlog after this um, video. You get to see how the room is, the front of my room, the siren. There'll be a lot of capture of the area and you just don't want to go anywhere. <laughs>
Cause sometimes it can get rough When you've had enough I'll be your dark holy home When you're feeling down, feeling low You'll never be alone Not when you're right on me Oh, I won't see no you and me Every time the pain get bad Promise I won't turn my back Even if it takes some time Never wanna see you cry Girl, you need to know This life means sometimes that we fight At least we're sitting side by side What is a vlog without showing you the food? I mean, showing you the environment is not just enough. I hope you enjoyed that view. Trust me, that's not all this place has got to offer because I've only just showed you the area around the beach. We haven't done the lagoon part yet and um, that will be coming up very soon. I like the food. I love the fact that it had a variety of options for one to choose from. You know, it's not the place where you go and you're stranded on what to take. Here, yeah, there's so many things that you could choose from. And I'll be showing you a quick detour of what the dining area looks like. Um, it's a very beautiful setup and I just hope you enjoy it. The dining is really big. I know you said it in the heat of the moment But did you say what you mean? Yeah your face turned right red and your body was frozen Think I could hear your heartbeat Ding out your chest and your sweat And your palms just won't rest For a second you'll regret it Almost wanna take it back But it's too late cause you said it I hope you meant it Don't be embarrassed, no Baby, it ain't just you So guys, 
we are back here and i would like to make a quick room tour for you to have a view of how wonderful this place is i love the setup of the room i'm going to be showing you a walk around through the room the bathroom you know um so you can have a view just in case you're interested i'm sure you're going to like it, it might trickle your fancy and you want to visit sometime so so first i'd like to start with the view from my room you know the window is really awesome and uh they have other options as well where you can book to stay in the lagoon view area but i just prefer this ocean view i love the serene and the settings and um, this is how the room looks like the beautiful orange background color i'd already set up as of last night uh the cupboard you know the tv i don't know maybe it looks like some kind of a vintage setup but basically this is it um very nice room the bathroom bathroom of course it's a 360 view of the room something small decent and nice but very lovely so guys this vlog is going to have a part two because of other activities i got to do at casa de papa and bene i hope you got to enjoy this part one continue to stay tuned to my channel and wait for the updates don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment thank you I think so, I think so.